Yo, you having a hard time figuring out your pricing? Let me help you out. Big Fat Man Scoop, Brooklyn Clan. What's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop. And right now, you're watching The Sensei, the number one, the king, my dude, Big Brando. He taught me, personally, me, Fat Man Scoop. All you gotta do is keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Listen to the man talk. That's knowledge personified right there, and I wouldn't trust nobody else but my dude, Big Brando. And I said it. Fat Man Scoop, Big Brando! Let's go! What's happening, everybody? Boy, Big Brando, and today, let's talk about pricing. More specifically, let's talk about pricing out your embroidery work. Now, every single time that I post an embroidery video, people always say, hey, what do you charge for your embroidery work? How do I price out my embroidery work? How do you figure out your pricing? How do I know I'm not ripping the customer off? How do I know I'm not selling myself short? My answer is always the same. Doesn't matter if it's embroidery, if I'm pressing transfers onto a t-shirt. The way I figure out my pricing is, I charge for materials, the blank t-shirt, the blank hat. I charge for the transfer, and then I charge for my labor. So in this case, we're talking about hats. I charge for the blank hat, and I charge for my labor. Now you're gonna have people saying, well, what about the thread? What about everything that it takes to run that job? Thread is very inexpensive. So I don't factor that into my pricing. It's built into the pricing, but it's so, so small and minor that it's not in my breakdown. Meaning a spool of thread is like four to seven bucks for a big spool and you get a bunch of hats off of that one spool. So I don't go based on, all right, I use four yards worth of thread that's going to break down to this blah 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 because at the end of the day it comes down to like pennies worth of thread per hat the other thing you could charge for is stabilizer and once again that's very inexpensive tearaway stabilizer is pretty cheap depending on the size that you buy and stuff like that pretty cheap stabilizer goes on the back of the hats and you stitch into it now the other thing is foam so foam for the people that don't know is how you create the 3D puff embroidery look. If you could see that, it's like popping out the, uh, it's like lifted up, right? So there's just a piece of foam under there, three millimeter foam, and there's thread on top of that. That's how you achieve that look. Foam, a little bit more pricey, but once again, I buy it in big bulk, so the breakdown isn't that crazy for me. So I keep my pricing very easy. Cost of blank, the blank hat, and my labor. And when I tell people that, they say, well, how do I figure out my labor? What do you charge? What's your labor worth? That's something that you cannot compare with somebody else. Your labor and your value is unique to you and you only. You can't compare what I value my time at to what you value your time at. I don't know your sacrifices. I don't know anything about your life. I don't know your experience. I don't know how fast you are at something. So you cannot compare your labor to somebody else. It's like when you work your regular day job and your employer says you're gonna get paid X amount of dollars an hour. And there might be somebody on your team that makes a little bit more than you or a little less than you. And it's based on experience and it's based on what your employer values your time at. So your employer says, all right, man, I think I'm gonna pay you $20 an hour because I feel your experience and what you bring to the team is worth $20 an hour. That is your employer valuing your time and giving it a dollar amount. $20 an hour. You as the business owner, you have to figure out how fast you are at something, how long it takes you to do something. All of your experience, all of your knowledge is built into this dollar amount. So in this video, I'll show you how I break certain things down. I won't give you actual numbers, but we will use roundabout numbers just to help people figure out their own pricing. So in this video right here, we'll pretend that this is a design that a customer brought to me. This is my hat right here. This is my design. This is a campaign I ran years ago when I did leftovers. We ran a campaign around turning the city upside down. Obviously, this is Los Angeles turned upside down. That's the campaign that we ran with. That was the marketing strategy behind this. And that's how we sold out of this hat. This is on a Decky 350. This is a structured six panel snapback made by Decky. This is 100% acrylic for the people that are going to ask what style number is that? I want to look it up. I want to use the same hat. Decky, I think it's 350. There's the tag in there. I don't know if that's in focus, but check it out. 100% acrylic made by Decky. At the time of purchasing these blanks, they were $4 a piece. When I first started using Decky, 
they were like three to 325 a piece. I have a video showing this like catalog I got from ISS that shows the Deki pricing. That's when I started using them. You could see the actual numbers that I was paying for them back then. Price has gone up. Since buying these at $4, the price has gone up. I don't know what the actual price is today, but at the time of purchasing these, these were four bucks wholesale. Now let's say that the customer brings this in and the customer says, hey, I wanna get this hat done. This is my logo. I want 3D puff embroidery on six panel structured snapback. How much is it gonna cost for 24 hats? So I'm like, all right, cool, man. Let's figure this part out. Blank hat, $4 a piece, right? So I'm buying 24, that's what, 96 bucks, 96 out the gate for the blank hats. That's, that's just to buy the blanks. Now, obviously this is gonna cost some money to digitize. I have digitizing software. I use Chroma, it came with my Racoma machine, but I don't digitize everything on my own because I'm not that proficient at the digitizing software. I'm not that good, I'm not that fast, I'm not that efficient. It's easier for me to send my digitizing out to let somebody else do it. So I outsource 98% of my digitizing gets outsourced and I let the professionals handle it. So something like this, when I got it digitized, I think it came out to like 12 bucks. Obviously it's just text. I sent it out. They turn it around in a day, less than a day. Now some people can be like, well, what digitizing company do you go with? If you Google search digitizing services, thousands of companies will pop up. All I do is I hit up every single one on that Google list and find out what their turnaround time is. I find out how much they charge for certain services. Turnaround time is big for me because I need it back as soon as possible because if the machine's not running, I'm not making no money. So I find out who could turn it around. Most of them turn it around in 24 hours. Some of them do 12 hours, especially for like simple stuff like this. Like the very first five that pop up on Google are good. Pricing is about the same, like 10 to 20 bucks turnaround time is 24 hours or less. Now we got to figure out our labor. So let's say you're like, I, you know what, for me to take on this job, I feel my time is worth $60 an hour. You got to figure out how long it takes you to stitch up a hat, start to finish. You got to figure out how you're going to get your 60 bucks out of that, right? Now you got to figure out how long it takes you to stitch this up, how long it takes you to hoop it, how long it takes the machine to stitch it on, how long it takes you to clean it up after. Start to finish, for me, this is about a five minute hat right here. That's from hooping, that's from laying the foam down, that's the time it takes the machine to stitch it all the way through, and that's me ripping off the excess foam and cleaning everything up. Five minutes, start to finish to a completed hat. So if I charged five bucks per hat, labor costs five bucks, takes me five minutes to knock one of these out, that means I could get 12 hats done in an hour, which brings me to $60. Five times 12, 60. I get 12 hats done. I charge the customer $5 for labor, $4 for the blank, so $9 complete. So in two hours, I make 120 bucks labor. That's what I get paid, right? It was like, what, 96 bucks for the blank hat? I'll just say roughly 100 bucks. Customer pays $320, and we'll say plus another $20 for the digitizing services. So $340 out the door, 24 hats complete. This is how I break shit down, based on how long it takes me to do something. Here's another one of my older hats. This is a Decky hat also, obviously. $350 is the style, before people ask. This is a Decky acrylic, 100% acrylic, six panel structured snapback. Six panel, meaning there's a seam in the middle right here. All right, this hat has the front stitching and it has back stitching. This is not a five minute hat. This takes me a lot longer to do, right? The stitching right here is a little under five minutes just to do that. Smaller design, less stitches. But then I have to rehoop the hat to do the flat stitching right here. So I don't have a standard price of like, all right, it's $5 for every hat because this hat takes a lot more labor. So I have to know how long it's gonna take me to hoop this hat and stitch that. How long is it gonna take me to hoop this side and stitch this? That's how I do my pricing. It's based on labor per job, per design. I need to know how long it's gonna take me to do something. I could look at a design and say, all right, that design right there possibly take me about three, four minutes to do. But I also have to remember, I have to rehoop that hat to do the backside, to do the stitching over the snaps. That's pretty time consuming. So obviously my labor is gonna be a lot more on that because it's a little bit more involved. Now remember, this is all based off of my single head 
embroidery machine. I have the MT-1501 by Rakoma. That's a single head machine with 15 needles. If you had a six head machine, obviously your pricing is gonna fluctuate because now you could do six hats in five minutes. So the cost is gonna be different and you could fluctuate your pricing. I'm going based off of my single head machine, how long it takes me to do something. So I charge for the blank hat and then I charge for my labor. Understanding what your time is worth is gonna be based on how long it takes you to do something, what your skill set is like, what your experience is like, and what you can offer your customers. Hopefully this helps somebody out because I know there's a lot of people that are struggling with pricing out embroidery jobs because they watch other videos or they're trying to get all this information and they're a little confused because a million different people are telling them a million different things. And I'm adding to that, right? I try to keep my pricing as easy as possible. Charge for the materials used, charge for your labor. Understanding your labor cost is the hardest part because people just want you to throw a number at them and say, this is what you should charge for your labor. But as you can see, these two hats, a little bit different. This one requires a little bit more labor than this one does. This one's a little bit more hands-on because I have to re-hoop this hat. So I need to know how long it's gonna take me to re-hoop that, set my machine up for that. I'm gonna have to know how much, how many stitches is on there so I know how long the machine's gonna take. All of that is what plays the biggest role into my pricing for anything. So remember, figure out your actual labor rate. Find out what your time is valued at. What is your time worth to you? Like I said, don't go based off of this, like you're gonna think, all right, $60 an hour, he said that, that should be cool. No, because if that takes you a long time to do, $60 an hour is not gonna be worth it. I break all my stuff down, knowing what my labor rate is, and then I break it down per piece on how long it's gonna take me to do something. That's all I do. That's my pricing in a nutshell right there. So do me a favor and go out there and figure out what your labor is worth to you. All right. If you got any questions, leave it in the comments. Hopefully I broke everything down. I was talking about decky hats. Style number is 350. It's a six panel structured snapback hat, 100% acrylic. Digitizing, Google search, digitizing services and you'll see a bunch of them pop up. Check out all those sites, see what their rates are, see what their turnaround time is and see if it fits whatever you're trying to do. That's all I did. As business owners, Google's my best friend. Google should be your best friend also. All right, follow me on Instagram, Big Brando TV. Catch you guys on the next one, man. Yeah.